How can we create a space, a virtual space for collective resonance that we can tune in or tune out at any time? Now, of course, we can do that in our minds, but I mean a digital, technological, actual, tangible, real space, like a chat room that's always online that has no chat actually there's no chat to it it's just connecting and disconnecting there's no mm, it's like practice we're not going to give ourselves the capacity to create and destroy things within the space it's just rather do i want to attune or do i not and that's all you can do is you can resonate with whatever common resonance that there is so this is like training wheels for actually coming into real conscious contact in, in a bigger way. So the, the, the beauty of this idea is that there's no agenda. Now, usually when there's no agenda, if you're allowed to communicate and chat and talk and physically interact, all kinds of malarkey is going to happen. Chaos is going to ensue, right? And so that will that usually degenerates and sometimes it creates beautiful things but that's not what i'm trying to do here i'm not trying to create anything it's rather can we it's like a measurement like taking the pulse of the collective society right now where are we at um we're not measuring anything we're not observing and capturing and analyzing data for anything it's it's rather a continuous like imagine a space that's always online that you can pop in and you can be in it and you can leave. You can't do anything. I mean, all, all that can be in there of you is whatever is resonant with everyone else. So, so that it refines out all of your personal stuff, which you are dealing with all the time anyway. Um, this, it's a different idea than like, people will go to retreats, go to meditation centers and all these things to work on themselves. So you're in a space with people who you don't like and people who smell bad and people who are farting and burping when you're trying to concentrate on your meditation practice and you have to learn to be accepting of all the differences. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying that's not accessible for most people. Most people are not gonna be able to do that. What people could do though is open up an app on their phone and click on this little heart resonance chamber room and it's, there's nothing to it. There's nothing there. It's literally nothing. There's no music. There's no inspirational quotes. There's no ability to chat with other participants. You can't friend people. You can't create social networks. You can't do anything with it whatsoever. Um, it's not monetizable. It is not for any purpose other than um, inhabiting a collective space. It's like a practice for the, the real thing that's happening now, but it's hard to access, but it's going to become more accessible later. So maybe that's an idea for the, maybe that's an idea for the stupidest app that could ever be created, which <laughs> is literally the nothing app. And I guess if you, okay, if you really wanted to, you could just count how many people are connected to it at the same time. That way there is some thing for the mind to latch onto. Otherwise, I can't, I mean, although, although, because of the power of placebo, and it could be a thing where people connect to the app, it's literally nothing, just a white blank screen, and maybe they feel like it's doing something, because it is doing something, because if several or many people are connected to the same chat, app, whatever, there are still invisible digital signals being processed. Um, even if they're just basic input output signals and even beyond the, the actual, um, beyond the actual electrical components of that, there's other things happening that are not scientifically known or validated. Right? I, I would believe that that's the case. And even if it's not, people might believe that because of that whole unknown placebo effect. So maybe that's, the, that's an idea. It's an idea for just like, it, we don't, 
there's there's no message and there's no it has to be like not owned by anyone not created by anyone not i mean in a sense that is the world that's the universe right but but it but it would allow people to consciously intend that action like i actually want to resonate with people with just anyone no matter who they are so you could be in the room with people who you would never want to come near in in person but because there's a limitation on what how much can be shared that it's a safe space for everyone i don't know how to implement that but that seems like a pretty good idea yeah shared that it's a safe space for everyone i think that's actually like a pretty i don't know how to implement that but that seems like a pretty good idea yeah 